This program is brought to you by the Alamo Navajo School Board Incorporated, looking for dedicated teachers and healthcare professionals. The turn of the century was the lowest point for the devastation of Indian culture by disease and persecution, and it's a wonder to me that they survived it and have not only maintained their identity, but are actually growing stronger in some ways. The situation is still very bad, especially in certain geographical areas. But there are more Indians going to school, more Indians becoming professional people, more Indians assuming full responsibility in our society. We have a long way to go, but we're making great strides. Today, the continental United States is home to over 550 federally recognized American Indian tribes and bands. Many people think of them in the past tense, but they are here, now. While some tribes have prospered to some degree in recent years, mainly because of energy and gaming development, others have not. But they're still out there, some geographically isolated, in some ways almost hidden from mainstream culture. And a hundred square mile reservation in west central New Mexico, about two hours drive time from Albuquerque, is what we're talking about today. They are called the Alamo Band of the Navajo Tribe. The name comes from Alamo Springs, one of many that are scattered across their 64,000 acres of mesas and mountains, volcanic plugs and high desert. Off the beaten path, way off. It's a place that didn't get electricity until 1967, a paved road to the closest town in 82, and phone service in 87. The Alamo Band numbers roughly 2,000 tribal members. They are removed, historically and geographically, from the main Navajo reservation, which they call the Big Navajo, home of the largest tribe in America. But they have representation on the Navajo Tribal Council through their local chapter. But many here are related to Apache bands that once roamed this territory. And numerous Alamo families bear the last name of Apache or Apachito. They are a proud people, but a people who were basically neglected and ignored for many years, and who today carry the double burden of a high poverty rate coupled with high unemployment. Today, five divisions oversee 54 programs with approximately 280 employees. They are administration, a K through 12 school, an early childhood center, community services, which handles adult ed and job placement, and health services, which administer a clinic and wellness center. They are a people in transition, in between the old and the new, where tradition is sometimes woven into the here and now, and where figures of the past mingle with future generations, and where wondering about what could be isn't just idle speculation or daydreaming. It's a necessity. <laughs> 